galaxies work all day and night Hide so we can't see them We need them inside our homes And science museums We got a planet, dinosaurs And more to learn about But if you need a fixie, please Don't let their secret out But if you need a fixie, please Don't let their secret out But if you need a fixie, please Don't let their secret out The vacuum. Come on, open up. What are you doing? Somebody threw trash into this tube. <sighs> Fire, those tubes are meant for experiments. This whole tube is a vacuum. Vacuum? What is that? It's nothing. I don't want to know anyway. Keep your secrets. A vacuum literally means nothing. Emptiness. There's not even any air inside. But it isn't empty. See the rock? Those are part of the experiment. Now tell me, if we flip the tube upside down, which one would fall first? Uh... The rock, obviously. Actually, no. In a vacuum, the rock and the feather fall at the same time. <laughs> if you drop a rock and feather from someplace high, which do you think will be the first one to hit the ground? The rock, right? Because it's big and heavy, of course. But the feather is light and fluffy. Air catches the feather and slows it down. But in a vacuum, everything is different. They take out all the air, so there's nothing to slow down the feather. That means everything falls at the same time. This was discovered way back in the 16th century by Galileo. That was like a bajillion years ago. So the law's probably old, too. Well, fine. Let's flip the tube and test it then. One, two, three, lift. <laughs> I know. The professor might help. Come on, Nolik. Help me. We can do it ourselves. Nolik, <laughs> come no, on. You and harder. <laughs> Get the feather. One. Two, three! <laughs> I knew I was right. The rock fell first. I'm smart. What if we tried it again? new physics. So cool. Which is? Fixies in a vacuum will always land before anything else inside it. It's the new fire and Nolik law. Titties! That was fun. Let's do it again. Oops. Uh, how do we get out? I've got this. Watch and learn, kid. Fire? <laughs> if we're in a vacuum... What are we breathing? I'm not sure. Ah! Wait! Hold your breath! Hello? <laughs> what? <gasps> Goodness! I'm coming now! Quickly! <sighs> there you go. <gasps> we nearly suffocated. What? Really? Vacuum, see? But guess what? We discovered the Fire Nolik Law. What now? Yeah. If Fixies are in a vacuum tube, they'll be the first to land every time. <laughs> <laughs> Just one problem. There's no vacuum. Not here. What do you mean? How? Don't you see? You took the lid off and let the air in. <laughs> the word vacuum comes from an old Latin word. It means emptiness. In space, almost everything's a vacuum. There's a whole lot of nothing between most of the stars and planets. Here on Earth, scientists have learned to make vacuums. It's similar to putting one bottle inside another with empty space between them. That's actually how thermoses keep liquids hot. And vacuum packaging helps keep products fresher longer. 
We can even vacuum seal fruits and vegetables and put them in the fridge. This keeps them extra tasty for a long time. And vacuum sealed storage helps keep our fluffy coats in a small space when we don't need them. Very nice. Who thought emptiness could be so convenient? You see how it works now? The rock, feather, and fixies all landed at the exact same time. Galileo is still correct. <laughs> but what about our fire and Nolik law? <laughs> now, don't you see? Physics laws have to come from somewhere, not out of nothing. 